Hey everybody, welcome back. It's been a long time since we've done one of these boxes. And I thought it was time that we go back and revisit the original Modern Horizons. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so excited to open this. Uh, it's been a while. We've only done one of these on the channel. And uh, the box that we had was actually really amazing. Uh, it was such a good box. But these boxes are getting tougher and tougher to find. Um, especially at a decent price. Really, you can still find them, but they're, you're going to pay you know, 300 something dollars for them. So uh, you're definitely paying the, the premium to open this set. Anyway, uh, tons of great cards that are in here. Um, and you've got to think, uh, there's still some commons that are over a dollar. There are uncommons that are over a dollar. Tons of rares, tons of mythics. Uh, and then you've also got uh, some of the different types of... Um, uh, treatments that they're going to have on here also. So crazy, crazy, craziness. Uh, either way, um, it, it's just going to be, I think this is going to be a great video. So uh, Forest Walk Bastion, Nantuko, On Thin Ice, Snow Covered, which is, I believe, going to be one of our um, $1 lands. Then we've got our art card and our elemental token in the foil. Not a whole lot was happening in that pack, but, you know, we still got a couple more ahead of us. So there are some still pretty heavy hitter cards in here. And uh, that, that definitely makes this set very attractive. Future Sight followed by Snow Covered Forest. We have an art card and another elemental token. If we open this way, there we go. Look, all of our cards are in backwards. Alright. The last time that I opened this set, uh, it was definitely like one of those ones where here's one of ours that's gonna be over a buck. Uh, that I opened the set and it was it was um it was definitely different. Ranger Captain. Great first mythic. Great first mythic. All right, we have our swamp and our soldier token. So it was definitely a different experience opening this, uh, being that I never opened it, but I've opened a lot of modern horizons too. So I had an idea of like what to, you know, what, what to expect out of this. <clears throat> and obviously, you know, we, we want uh, a lot of the land cycle. And we would definitely appreciate getting some of the um, different treatments. So another two talisman, very nice. These talismans are still above that $1 mark. And we have an Ayula. Followed by a snow cover and some more token. Yeah. But again, you're paying that premium. And uh, the EV of this box is actually still holding pretty well. Especially considering uh, just the vast amount of reprints that we've had. And being the fact that this is just... I don't want to say it's such an old box. But it is definitely an older box. And it's holding. It, it's holding. Alright, Glacial Revelation. For our first foil. And, uh, yeah. And a goblin token. Uh-oh. Now I did it. Alright. Forgotten Kate. Secluded Steppy, nice. And Silent Clearing. More snow covered islands. We're just going to mix those in there and I'll be sure to uh, sort through the tokens later on and find the, the foil, and it will be to sort through the common or uncommon slots. Crypt Rats. You know, I've always loved this card, uh, and it's just a nice reprint to have. Love the art on that. Goblin or Flame and Merit Lage. Very nice. Alright, so we're working our way through. Still none of the... Well, actually, the Ranger Captain is one of our, our bigger hits that we're going to see out of this box. So I won't say no big hits. And we do have some land... Tons of Talisman. And 
Cloud Shredder Sliver. I believe the top sliver in this is the, the first sliver, I think is the top one. We're going to put you up here anyway. I think that's the top one in this. I'm not 100% sure. Ephemerate, here we go. So there's uh, one of our one of our top uh, commons that comes in over a buck. And Plague Engineer, go follow the land. All right. So there's only two sides to this. I can't really say left side, best side, because I kind of mix things up a little bit. But uh, we're through the mini uh, mini stack that I put together. Crypt Red, Slant of Warp, Generous Gift, and Morphon. Oh, man. <laughs> Another huge hit. And this is one of, I think this is like in the top three for Mythics in this set. Uh, very, very nice hit. Uh, love to see that one early on. Definitely looking for Force Negation, Prismatic Vista, a few of the other ones in here as well. And Force of Rage. Spiteful Sliver. All right. Hmm. Still great hits so far. Ranger Captain and uh, the Morphon. I mean, those are really the two, I guess, two big ones I guess you could really care about uh, if you're going to get them early on. Ranger Captain is still around 20. Morphon's around 20 to 25. Um, which, I mean, again, that's not bad. I and mean, I think I paid like 248 or 249 for this, but I just called 250. Archmage's Charm. I think it's about five, six bucks. Unless some prices have jumped since I last looked at this, but I think that's about right. And Force of Negation. <laughs> oh man, we got it. We got one. Oh man. Such a big hit in this set. And I think the last time I opened this set, I also got the Force of Negation, which... Um, it was really unexpected, but this is like, I mean, we still have a ton of packs ahead of us, and this is like best case scenario like, that we can get, uh, unless we start getting some like major duplication or we start pulling some crazy land out of here. Like, this is like best case so far that we could get. We still have like half the box ahead of us. This is going to mark officially the first half of the box. And I'm pretty impressed. I'm, I'm very happy that this is our first half. All right, Lightning Skelemental. And we have a Foil Hex Drinker. Foil Mythic. All right. You know, I'm always on the lookout these days for... Uh, Errors, misprints, miscuts, crimped cards, you name it. Uh, it. Seems like I've been getting a lot of those in some of these packs. And uh, it's one of those things where it's a niche. Some people are irritated by them. I embrace them. And it is such a niche group that buys, sells, and trades those. But I, I genuinely like it. All right. Got the Ice Fang. Followed by a Cordial Vampire in the foil. We're going to throw this up here. Still only one land from this set, though. That's a little bit concerning. All right. Got the collector. <clears throat> All right. So I did 
did recently add a bunch of new boxes to my sealed collection. I actually already had a Modern Horizons 1 in my collection, but uh, I really wanted to open one. It's been so long since we've visited this set. Um, I just recently added a ton of new boxes, um, including the original Double Masters. I was really excited to pick that up, and I, I did not, uh, I will tell you, I did not get a deal on that in the slightest bit, but, uh, you know, those boxes are becoming harder and harder to find, um, whether it's a good price or not. I mean, they're just, box prices are like five, six hundred dollars right now, uh, and I don't think you're going to get any better than that. Uh, I don't see that set coming down anytime soon. So, I did end up adding one one or two uh you know in addition to this because i mean i've got more modern masters and or more modern horizons and i've got uh, some modern horizons too and some time spiral a little bit of everything uh i keep some of the good ones ones that i've opened before that i really liked that went out and i bought a whole bunch of boxes of them but i've also got like a bunch of other stuff too like um or finley um i've got like uh, a, lot, a lot more modern stuff like uh Kamigawa, a ton of uh, Midnight Hunt floating around. Just little stuff, Sunbay Canyon, there we go, second lamp. <clears throat> Tons of little stuff, things that you wouldn't really think about, but uh, you know, there is still some value in those sets. Uh, regardless of how much has been printed. So they're good to keep around, especially if you get them cheap enough. Just what I try to do, obviously. Oh, the Hilliard. Not that impressed. Mixing up lands already. The ephemerate again. Alright, Talisman. And Seasoned Pyromancer. Welcome to the party. Wow, this is a box happening right here. <laughs> we still got, still got eight, nine packs left. This is a pretty good box. Uh, I really don't think we could ask for more. Uh, Prismatic Vista would be a nice hit to see, but uh, <clears throat> I guess, I mean, I really, you can't complain with, with what we've gotten so far. Yeah. Yeah, I won't complain. I think last time when I opened this, I mixed commons and uncommons, and the reason I'm doing it this way is because it was such a pain in the butt afterwards to go through and <laughs> I had to go through, and I was sifting all the cards out, and I'm like, ah, this sucks, and I think in most videos now, uh, I think you might have seen it where I, I kind of go through, and I try to sort common and uncommon if I can. All right, Force of Despair. <clears throat> Got about, what, five packs? Five packs or so left to go. Uh, I think Thrawn is in this set, the uh, Yagma. He's in there. It'd be nice to see him pop up. I got plane bound, followed by some more land. Uh, these snow covered lands, and I don't sleep on these. These lands are. I think three, or three, or three of the five snow covers in here, I think, are over a dollar. So <clears throat> keep that in mind. More ephemerae. I'll put those off to the side. Keep that in mind when you're going through your land set. Um, you know, those definitely do hold value. All right, we have the uh, Deep Forest Hermit. All right, a couple packs left. Oof, all right. <clears throat> I can't say that I'm going to break even on this set, but I can definitely tell you I had a really good time opening this, and there's a lot of good cards in here that I like. And, ah, oh, there it is, Prismatic Vista. We got it. We got one. We got it. I was getting worried for about a second. I was getting worried. I was thinking we weren't going to get one. Man, all right, so considering we got Prismatic Vista, and I'm going to... So many other good cards in here. I think we got <laughs> most of the top cards in this set. Uh, just out of this one box uh, alone. So I'm definitely okay with that. Uh, let's see the first sliver in here. And I think that would pretty much do it for like the top five. All right. Firely Islet. Or Islet. And we have one last pack. It's our last one. Oh, let me in the comments know, down below know what you guys think about this set. Uh, did you guys enjoy seeing this? Do you enjoy opening this set? Have you opened a ton in the past? Um, yeah, let me know. Leave a thumbs up if you guys like this video. Thumbs down if you didn't. It's okay. I understand. 
if you're not subscribed but you want to be there is a button down below for that and yeah that's it leave a thumbs up guys i do appreciate it that's it that's been the video and i hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll catch you all on the next video